Hi, I'm Will Bowers, licensed real estate agent with Allison James Estates and Homes in the state of Virginia. In this video, I'm going to be talking about precautions you can take for an in-person showing for property you're selling or renting during the pandemic. But first, before I go into it, please like and subscribe to this video. I've got more videos coming up about what you can do to maintain your property, increase the value of it, and possibly maybe even some shenanigans of things I have noticed or gotten into. While virtual tours have become very popular for many potential buyers during a pandemic, some serious buyers still want to see the property in person before they make an offer. After all, buying a home is going to be one of the biggest financial decisions you're ever going to make. And you want to know exactly what you're getting into. If you're thinking of selling a home or even renting a property out, here's a couple of suggestions you can do to prepare for showings. First, you can insist on a buyer's pre-approval letter. Obviously, if you're renting a property, this is not going to be part of the process. But right now is not really a good time to cater to the people who are, quote-unquote, just looking. If a potential buyer wants to see your home, Given the circumstances, it's not unreasonable to ask for a pre-approval letter. When a buyer has taken the time to get pre-approved for a home loan, then you can be reasonably sure they're ready, willing, and able. Next thing you could do is have them take the virtual tour first. Sellers and their agents can either prepare a virtual tour or a video tour through various different programs and then have potential buyers view them at any time. I like to put videos on Facebook, YouTube, other forms of social media, but again, sellers and agents might be putting it on other third-party sites as well. I would also recommend for sellers to disclose any potential issues with the property, as well as posting a lot of pictures. This way, anything that could be a potential deal breaker could be known right away and prevent any showings that never would have turned into a transaction. The third item you can do is have a showing kit. Once you have serious buyers and tenants heading into the property, you can get a kit together for them. This kit will include hand sanitizer, gloves, masks, foot coverings. I like to have soap and paper towels, and trash baskets at every sink on the property. Again, some buyer's agents are also doing this as well, but better safe than sorry. Fourth item, sounds very obvious, but I have to say this, clean, clean, I'll say it again, clean. Did I mention clean the property? What I mean by this is from high traffic areas, Pay attention to frequently touched surfaces like countertops, doorknobs, light switches. I've even seen some sellers have signs up that say, please do not turn off the lights. I've seen sellers put signs that say, please do not turn off lights. Basically, this means they had all the lights turned on when they left so that the people who are looking at it would have a couple of less items they would need to touch. And of course, as soon as you get back home, clean, 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 and clean. Did I mention you should clean? No, seriously. It's one of those moments where going a little overboard is not a bad idea. Another idea to cut down on surfaces being touched, leave all doors open. I'm talking about cabinets, if possible, pantries, closets. This way, you're cutting down on the amount of items that are being touched in the home. With everything that's been going on, I completely understand how easy it is to be hesitant to let people come into your property. I know people who have tested positive. Thankfully, they're still with us. But I also know people who have had family members and friends that have not been as fortunate. With this going on, we have to be smart we have to be diligent on cleanliness. It can be frustrating to clean things 
multiple times in a short period of time. But given everything that's been going on, an ounce of prevention can be worth a pound of the cure. I probably botched that phrase that my grandmother once said, but you get the idea. Thank you again for watching. Stay safe. Again, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, take care of yourself.